Okay, so I've already got um, a Vesper theory um, video associated with acetylene, so you can go ahead and watch that. Um, but remember, this time we're actually going to uh, be hybridizing the orbitals of one of those two carbon atoms. Okay, so um, let's draw acetylene out just to remind ourselves what it looks like. Okay, so guys, can you guys help me? What does it look like? It's H. Yeah, H with a bond to C, C with a triple, triple, triple bond. bond. Very good to a C then. H. Very good, guys. Okay, so that's that's great. Um, so we're going to be looking at the hybridization of that carbon there. Okay. So when we're doing these hybridization problems, the first thing we're going to do is write the valence shell of the actual unhybridized carbon atom, okay? So how do we do that? Remember, we're gonna draw an electron diagram. So what's gonna be down here? What are we gonna put? Well, the, just the valence shell. 2s. 2s, okay? So I know we were doing the whole thing before, but once you get to these bigger atoms, then it kind of starts being like, cumbersome to do all the lower levels, okay? Because only the valence shell participates in the chemical reactions, okay? So the bottom, what did we say? 2s. And uh, next is going to be 2p. And how many orbitals there? 3. 1, 2, 3, right? So we look at this, and we look at this, we look up here, okay, look up at the periodic table, and let's fill this up by all of our filling rules, okay? Um, so what is it going to look like here? How many electrons? Two, two. Two. One up, one down. And here, how many? Two, two. One, one. Here? One. One. Here? None. Okay, so that's the carbon unhybridized, right? What are we going to do? We're going to stick it in the blender, right, and hybridize it. Is everybody okay with that? So, we're looking at that carbon. How many sigma bonds is that carbon making? Two. Two, okay? So, how many orbitals need to be uh, hybridized? Two. How many do we need? Yeah, we only need two, okay? So, which one definitely has to go? The S. The S and one of the P's, right? So I'm just going to do that, box those guys in. So those are the two that get thrown in the blender and hybridized, okay? So if we put two in, how many are we getting now? Two. 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 And what, are the name, what is the name of those two? SP. SP. Why? Because I used one S, one S and, one and one P. Does that answer your question now? Okay, good. We're going to still go through the rest of this, though. Um, what happened to these other orbitals? They're on top. Okay. So, and they're still what? They're P's, right? Yeah, they're P orbitals. Okay. So, now we're going to take these electrons here and throw them in to these orbitals. Okay. So, how many electrons here? One. One. Yeah, for each orbital. Here, one. Why? Because they're going to make sigma bonds. We know that, right? Okay. And what about here? One. One. And do we have any more? Yeah. How many do we have? One, two, three, four. Right? How many do we have over here? One, one two, two, three, three four. One. four. Right? Okay. So let's go back and draw that Lewis structure again, doing how we do with the fish hook arrows. Okay? Just to remind ourselves. So, remember, these are the sigma bond forming, right? And these are the pi bond forming, okay? These ones here. So, okay, so we're focusing on this carbon here, but we can do both of them. So, Everybody's okay with that formation, right? And of course, I'll bet you everybody's okay with that one too, right? 
So let's go ahead and wipe those away and draw actual covalent bonds in between there. Like that, right? How many uh, more bonds does this carbon want to make? Two. Two. two more. Can it make two more with this one here? Yes. Yeah, okay. So what you'll find is these two electrons are this electron and this electron here in the p orbitals, okay? So the electron that was here previous and the electron that was here previous are these two electrons here, okay? So when we do that, like that, what do we make in between those two carbon atoms? Go A. Pi bonds. Well, how many pi bonds? Two. 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 Okay. So pi bonds come from these p orbitals there. Okay. So if you've got two empty ones, or half empty ones, then you're going to make a triple bond. You've only got the one half empty one like we did with the sp2 structure, just going to make the double bond. Okay? So what would be the bond angle here? 180. If this is, what's the hybridization of that carbon again? SP. If this is SP, that's 180. Okay? Is everybody okay with hybridization? Okay, this is a more difficult problem. So if you're cool with this, then you should be good with everything else. Is there anything else anybody wants me to ask or any questions on this one in particular? You cool with hybridization now? Okay, good. Just a quick question. Uh-huh, yeah. Um, two sigma bonds, so you only pick two of the lower, lowest levels, right? Yeah, you take the lowest level first within the valence shell. Okay? So, and all of those electrons have to be pushed over into the new orbitals. Okay? Any other questions? That's a good question. Okay, wonderful.